Hello everybody, welcome to Vickyville. I have a really fun Frank Garcia haul for you today. Look at this bag of goodies. I went today because I got an email saying that Doodlebug Halloween was in and I had to go and get it. But as I was there, my niece Paisley went with me and she talked me into a whole lot more. So let's get right into it because it is too much greatness and I love it. So first off, I got my favorite liquid pearls and I wasn't sure if I had this, uh, these colors. I should take like a picture of all the ones I have, but nevertheless, I got violet and slate. And I thought those were cute Halloween colors. Then I got these uh, doodle bug mini paper doilies in this beautiful orange, like a pumpkin color. So that'll be perfect for all of my Halloween goodies that I'll be making. Um, I want to do doodle bug last. Had to get this uh, Julie Nutting doll called Maria. And I just love that she looks like Dia de los Muertos. It's um, Hispanic Heritage Month too. So I thought that would be super cute to make some cards and stuff for using the stamp set. So that was really fun. Okay, then what else? Okay, I got this really fun. Now, I this is probably my first Tim Holtz stamp set that I've bought, but I I loved her. She looks like a pinup girl and I love bandanas and the hair and then look at he looks so charming and dapper and I I just I want to make a, a card with this so this was so cute called wicked hipsters and i my kids are gonna love if i make them a card with this and probably you know what i'll do they both my daughters both work at starbucks sarah glare i hope you could see that um and so maybe i'll make like little treats for their co-workers because i go in every single day and they know my order and they're so awesome so maybe that's what i'll do and give them a little fun little um little gift there so that's a good idea you should do that for your baristas it really they really love that i think okay then i got um i i'm gonna share with you too uh, it's a work in progress but i'm working on a disney halloween scrapbook 12 by 12 layouts and so i realized that i didn't have that much disney stuff that i needed so uh this is from echo park and it's called a magical place and this one is called Frames and Tags. And I just liked all the little um, sayings and things that I could add to my scrapbook pages. So I got that. Then, let's see, what else? I got this doodle bug that I had bought a couple weeks ago and I'll sh share with you the layouts that I've made. I started using it already, but I needed to add to it. I only got one piece, like I told you. I'm kind of on a major budget now, but uh, I needed more for my layout, so I got that. Then I got some more of the Fun at the Park papers, so I got this one, which is really cute. And this one, I love the corn dogs and the street lamp and all the bows and the teacups. And I, I like the castle on the other side. And I love this because you know me, I take about 3 billion pictures of each, <laughs> each ride. And then uh, this looks like film strip, so that would also be a cute layout. I got some more of this cut apart paper because it's just adorable and hot diggity dog. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And then this one's really cute because it looks like the park. And then the plaid, you can always use that beautiful plaid. I love this. This is like the quintessential Disney color. So that was really fun. And then the red and white on the back. Okay, then uh, this was from Echo Park and this line is called remember the magic and so i got some the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and that was uh you know look at dreams come true magical the balloons magic starts here i think it's so cute 
and that was only $2.99, so that was a good deal. Then I got some cut aparts that match. I'm planning, you know, I I got the the um, the pass to Disneyland, so I'm planning to go a lot. So I'm gonna need a lot of paper for all the pictures that I'll be taking. So that'll be fun. And then this one's just cute, like tickets. I thought that was really cute. So that was all of my Disney paper that will be good for my Disney um, scrapbook that I'm gonna show you right now after I show you why I went to the store. No, I still have more. Let me show you the other, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna get there, I promise. Okay, then I got this um, stamp set from Honeybee. I thought it was so cute. The name of this one is called, what is this one called? Trick or Treat. And I just thought it was so cute. Look at the little piggy. That looks like, uh, what would that be, like Frankenstein or something? And then this little uh, Dracula teddy bear, and this little witch kitty, and the little dog that's like a skeleton, and then the spooky tree. I just think that is so cute. So Paisley, my niece Paisley, let, uh, showed me that I definitely needed that one. I thought that was really fun. Okay. Then this is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing that I went for, and that was my doodle bug Halloween. And so starting off, this one is called Happy Haunting. And if you're in the market for it, I love the colors. It's like such bright colors with the hot pink and the lime green and the beautiful purple. And oh my gosh, it did not disappoint. I love doodle bug okay oh this was more I also got simple stories and this line is called spooky nights I just love scrapbooking and making little things for Halloween so I got that paper and I got this one with the pumpkin faces that was really cute then I got this paper some more cut aparts from simple stories I got another cut apart because, you know, if you wanted to make a mini album or October daily, that would be so cute. Then I love the skeleton paper, but <laughs> they were so cute with the little happy faces. And then the plaid on the back, so you could always use that. Okay, so that was it from Simple Story. So I did want to show you that, but let me get back to my doodle bug obsession. <laughs> so this is Happy Haunting. And then the next, oh, another simple story. Sorry, this is a polka dot. And then just like a little, okay. Thank you, simple stories. Got to get back to more simple stories. <laughs> so this is just like little spooky houses. Okay, I do believe that's it for simple stories. Okay, yes, yes. Now we're going to, this one was, I think this is from last year. This was called Ghost Town. And this is the um, candy corn paper, but it is from Doodlebug, so we'll keep it in there. But that's not on the new line. I love this paper. Look at the, it's the colors that are everything about what's in this um, Happy Haunting pack. It's just perfect. I love it. So cute. I love the brightness of it. And then this one is like a little graveyard with a little cute ghost. Oh my goodness. This would be such a great layout to replicate. You could cut, you know, in in um, from your silhouette and it would be just so cute. And then just the purple with the little um, skulls on the back. So either side, you're gonna have some greatness there. I got two of these because I just love the little ghost with the little blush cheeks is so cute. Oh my goodness, so I got two of those papers and then on the back there's these beautiful polka dots that are just the perfect color to complement an accent page. Okay, then this is like the list. So for your October daily or, you know, up the scrapbook page, so cute to um, jot down memories of your favorite traditions for Halloween, that'd be really cute. I thought this was adorable. These pumpkins, oh my goodness, look at all their different little faces. So cute. 
And then this is a cut apart. I'm telling you, this could be my very favorite colors of all, of all the Halloween. I mean, I just think it's so, so pretty. The hot pink and the lime green and the black and oh my goodness, it's just perfect in my opinion. Then the happy haunting. I love using this as like border or just a little accent for your scrapbook page. It just, it's so cute and oh my goodness, so much fun. And then even this page is really cute. The little eyeballs, the little spiders. Then there's these really adorable owls and then plaid on the back. Then here are these eyeballs. So cute. And then all these little, like the little bugs, there's there's like a worm and it looks like maybe a ladybug and just so cute, oh my goodness. And then this last piece, it's a, a gray background. I had the other one in white, but I, I cannot get enough of these ghosts. Oh my goodness, that is too cute. And you, yes, you could definitely cut this on your silhouette and you could replicate with a bigger four, uh, maybe a scrapbook page. So. I love Happy Haunting from Doodlebug. Oh my goodness, these, these papers are just everything. I cannot wait to scrapbook with them. Oh my, 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 my. <laughs> Let me know, are you a, a Doodlebug? You either love Doodlebug or you don't. I know I have a lot of friends that just don't like it at all. It's too juvenile for them, too bright. And I totally respect that, but I pretty much I'm obsessed. Okay, so then I got these little doodle pops. Of course, I had to get with the little ghost. Oh my goodness, so cute. And then the little house, the little doodle pops there. And then another little chubby little trick-or-treater ghost. How cute is that? Oh, and these were left over from the shaker pops that go along with my doodle bug Disney papers. So I added that. So that would be the Disney part. Then I got the six by six paper pad and happy haunting, just in case I wanted to make some cards. I got the happy haunting odds and ends. Look at all of the little um, ephemera that you get in that pack to add to your pages. And then I got the chit chat because I love using these for like titles and just you know, little sayings to add to your layout. So cute. Obsessed with, oh my gosh, Happy Haunting. This has probably been my favorite, favorite Halloween line from Doodlebug as of yet. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play with that. So let me go ahead and share with you my scrapbook that I started on here. Hope that's in frame. Okay. So the scrapbook itself is a 12 by 12, three ring binder. I got it from um, Hobby Lobby and it was from the paper source. Oh, oh shoot, sorry. Hopefully you could still see that. It's from the paper source and I used a 50% off coupon. So I believe it came out to about $12. So you can't beat that. Okay, this witch's hat here, I uh, got that from my 99 cent um, haul that is, I showed it to you in my last video. It was just a pack of like decorations and I thought it was so cute. Um, I, because it's flimsy, I, I backed it with black cardstock. So it kind of gave it a little bit of weight to it. And uh, this, let me see, do I have it out here? I'm kind of been crafting. Okay, well this die here, if you could see it has the castle and then the Mickey ears. I got that from Tall Mouse and Creative Arts um, at one of our Scrapbook Expo at home events. If you are looking for some really awesome Disney dies, she has them. They're so cute. Then I got this Disney, uh, sort of like a fabric uh, title. And it came with these little guys too. And that was from Hobby Lobby. And that wasn't on sale, but I knew that I'd be using it for my, to make a cover for my uh, album here. That's just beautiful black and white, but I wanted to kind of give it that Halloween Disney feel. So I think that looks really cute. So that was fun. Okay, then I'm gonna open it up and I hope you can see it. If not, I'm gonna take it out. 
So this is the first layout that I have here using that doodle bug paper, if you could see there. And so I used the little doodle pop there, a die back here that I had cut. This um, was the die that I just showed you on the front cover. This, the same die that I used here, I used it here but I just uh, covered where the castle was because I thought it looked cute, like kind of like a Disney hat. Then I added the picture of my daughter and I that we took in front of the pumpkin at Disneyland on Main Street. And I thought that was so cute. Right here is some, just some crepe paper that I have. I love scrapbooking with crepe paper. And you could see I just had the two pages here. This is the front and that was the back, but I love it because it has the castle. And then, you know, and then this is just um, one of the, I think it was one of the ephemera packs and it just says best day ever. And then this was from one of the packs as well. And it says magic, added some enamel dots from my stash, some buttons from my stash and made that first layout. I backed it, it has three layers. So it has black cardstock, this turquoise cardstock, and this red and white cardstock that was from my stash. And it just gives it that weight. I like layouts to be really like, you know, substantial. So that is the first page there. Okay, then turning the page, this is a two page layout now. And I'll take it out so you can see it better. So I always take, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see that I always do take pictures in front of my, uh, in front of my house. And that's what these pictures are. And so I love to go to Disneyland because, oh no, ah, shoot, my whole water bottle fell over. Okay. I love to go to Disneyland because I love also to make outfits, like fun Disney outfits that are, you know, a lot of fun and match my ears or like Disney bounding. If I want to look kind of like a princess or Winnie the Pooh or something, I love to kind of Disney bound. So, uh, this was my daughter. And as you could see, it says Disney outfits right here is that kind of paper that I told you that I cut out to kind of give it that, uh, you know, like, um, different, uh, <laughs> like border or something. Right. So it's the, the camera that would go along with this doodle pop, but I didn't have it yet. So that's, I could use that on another page, but. So this is my daughter, Scarlett. And I love that she got these ears um, when she went with her friends. And so she made an outfit that matched with her ears. It, there's like candy corn and a purple bow. And so I love her purple fanny pack and her orange necklace and her black and white skirt. And I just thought that was so cute. Added that crepe paper again with just some um, orange gingham paper that I had from my stash. These little were from the 99 cent store I showed you in my last haul. And then these letters I got from Hobby Lobby when it was like a dollar for the, um, the alphabet. Okay, so that's that one page. And then this is me. I love this dress. I had ordered it from Shein. It was probably on sale for like $10. And I didn't, I didn't know that I would be getting a Disney pass. I just got it just because I thought it was really cute for Halloween, like orange and black. And when my daughters came home with, with these ears for me, which they light up at night, but they're really cute. I don't, you can't probably see it in the picture, but they are plastic. And then they have like a little orange plastic Mickey ears in the plastic. And then they have a little black, um, Minnie and Mickey on the outside. So this uh, dress was perfect for uh, that, that first time at Disneyland. I had never been in my life at Halloween and oh my goodness, it was so gorgeous and fun. And this right here, I just got from um, KR, KS Craft. I had it out here. I should. It's just a die that I had in my stash. Just backed it with some glitter paper and the same bow that was up here you can see that I used up here. I just added a bow there. So it kind of gives it that coordination when it's looking like that. So that is the layout that I started. And then right here, it was um, 
this was one of the cut up, cut apart papers. I just cut it out and then added some dimension underneath the um, little squares. And yeah, that's the layout. Added some journaling there. And yeah, so I will share with you as I go. And just thank you for watching. Who loves Disneyland? Who loves Halloween? Who loves Disneyland at Halloween time? Your girl, Vickyville. <laughs> so I will be sharing a lot of projects that I'm working on. But thank you for watching, you guys. And I hope that you really do have a fabulous day. I love you. Bye. Keep it crafty. Vickyville loves you. Bye.